and coming to the green flag. Ten laps at the three-and-a-half-mile Autobahn Country Club, this festival of speed. Brandon Schwartz, Kevin Davis on that front row. Green flag flies, and we're racing at Autobahn. Down into turn number one. Schwartz on the inside, Davis on the outside. Through that triple apex left-hander, they sorted out single file now. Adrian Morrill, that orange car, sailing through the air here at Autobahn Country Club. There it goes, and there we are. Re green flag racing at Autobahn. A strong start there by D'Ambrose in the number 60. They'll head down to turn number one. And a single file out for the leader, second and third place. So it is a dueling battle. Clean start for both classes here, Jeremy, as we make our way through lap one. And that's where someone like Brandon Schwartz came in. And he has really come onto us. Whoa, a little bit of a tank slap out of Schwartz as he hits those rumble strips. And you know how heavy those rumble strips are. you got to be really careful. Well, that was one of the things I want to talk about. Pretty soon Kevin Davis is going to have arrow wash. And that's also going to affect his lap times. That's going to affect the way he handles. So you'll see him move over to try and catch that arrow so he can catch up. Um, another thing I was going to mention, you, you mentioned how tightly sprung those cars are. Look at how much that car, those cars travel across the bumps, like right there in eight. You know, especially uh, but alone, Kim, trying to run him back down, and we'll keep an eye on the lap times there. Uh, but two seconds quicker last time by for Mike D'Ambrose over alone, Kim. Up in the, uh, the other category, Pro Mazda's and F3's, Schwartz leads the way. But last time by, Kevin Davis was uh, only about four-tenths off. So we'll keep our eyes on both of those categories as they work their way through this race. Lap time's very, very quick uh, in comparison to those GT cars, which are much heavier. Off the pace, uh, coming around turn 10, he was a little high, but I think he's back on it. So it looks like he may have had a little bit of an issue through uh, the corners. And, of course, we see Kim closing in on that number 60 of D'Ambrose. D'Ambrose making his way through the formula car portion of the Wings and Things grid as we're working lap number three. It's uh, Schwartz, Davis, and Morrill, one, two, and three. And, of course, Meager slowing up to let Kim go around him. So he'll also let the 59 of Ben Blander around. Uh, and Meager, that front two, uh, might get more electric. There's one car off at turn number 17. Don't know exactly which one it is there, but uh, let's see. It's Is it the 27? John Collins in that F3. I think you noted uh, something might have been a miss there. Almost looks like he might have a – I thought he might have had a flat there, but it looks like he just went off and heads back to pit lane. So he will escape the racetrack properly and, and correctly and cleanly, but uh, will put him down the order. Uh, the Pro Mazas and F3s in particular will have no problem doing many of those corners, like 6 and 16 flat out, but uh, the – and, of course, we uh, Collins was uh, in and out of the pit. So, as you see, there he is there. So now he's going to have to hold his line and let Brandon Schwartz uh, go around him. But will this affect the battle for the lead? I think it might. As Schwartz closing in on Collins, they go down turn number five. No, actually, he opens up the gap. Uh, my mistake, you know, it's like the old Murray Walker with half the race to go. There's still half the race left. As they come through turn number six and, uh, Collins going to get out of the way. Uh, Davis still has to back out as they come. Oh, Davis going off course as Collins holding his line through turn number six. That was interesting. So now Brandon, uh, sorry, John Collins. Who knows what happened? That's only and that's between you know John Collins and Kevin Davis to know. Now Kevin Davis is coming up on uh, slower rackle traffic. It looks like the eight of David Hahn. So we'll see him dispatch of him pretty quickly. Heading into turn number two, and of course, Han holding his line, able to get around. So much easier time this time for Kevin Davis. But uh, all things considered, there's uh, Morale in the number five, working his way to the inside of John Collins in that number 27. And, uh, easy to tell the orange and black one apart. That's the easy thing to, to point out here as we make our way down through carving his way on the north course now. Started on pole and for a few laps fought off in advance from Kevin Davis, but lap traffic was the catalyst to the reaction of the 44 dropping out of consideration for this race lead. Brandon Schwartz only has a handful of corners remaining. One of them turned 17. Last fast uh, left-hander here. Through 17 and through 18 and 19, Brandon Schwartz on pole. Consistent laps, consistent defense, consistent offense. And this time, he'll leave turn 19. Checkered flag will wave, and it is Brandon Schwartz who outlasts Davis and the number 46 wins the Wings and Things race. The Pro Mazda and F3 category across the stripe gets the job done. Kevin Davis, uh, with some lap traffic interference, will drop back a little bit further back than I'm sure he would like, but he will pick up second place in his Pro Mazda machine. As this should be, I believe, uh, the 27 of... Nope, that's... Uh, 
Uh, David Hahn in the number, no, oh, Charles Meager, rather, in the number seven. That comes across the stripe, the blue car. And here comes one of the Radicals, not our race leader, though. I think D'Ambrose is in a blue machine. And we'll leave turn number 19, a race leader and a race winner in the Radical category here at Autobahn Country Club. Mike D'Ambrose picks up the win on lap number 10. Just behind him, John Collins. He'll bring that number 27 across the stripe despite having to come down pit lane. Our second place driver, Alone Kim. And indeed it is Alone Kim's second place in the Radicals at this Festival of Speed. And that should uh, have Ben Blander be the final driver on the podium for that category. There's a look at your top 10. Schwartz, uh, Kevin Davis, Morale, your top three. Then it's uh, the D'Ambrose number 60. And Alone Kim, your top two in the Radicals, Ben Blander, uh, wrapping up your podium.